now. Now it's time for Jared and Katie's War of the Roses call on 107.5 KZL, the number one hit music station. Jared and Katie. Hey, guys. I wish I was emailing under happier circumstances, but... As the saying goes, it is what it is. Oh, we love that saying. Yeah, and I really need y'all's help. I'm having problems with my husband, Tommy. He's been acting really suspicious lately. Staying late at work, coming home, and then staying up real late on the computer and leaving about an hour earlier for work. Mm. I confronted him about it two weeks ago, and he got really defensive and says he's just trying to earn a living. I want to believe him, but my heart is telling me something else. Could you please do a War of the Roses call on him? Thank you so much. Samantha, we live in Mayadan. What's up, Samantha? Hey. Hi. Yeah, we got your email. I know it's not the best circumstances, but it could be the fact that he's is just working Maybe more. He's I don't really know. working, working. Yeah, I don't think it, that's what it is. I mean, I just, I've known him a long time, and he is not a workaholic at all. He okay. Is, he's the kind of person that really loves to play, and uh, he plays harder than he works, and this is just weird. This is just so weird, and I I know something's wrong. A woman's intuition, right? You know him best. Yeah. I know. I know something's going on here. I don't know what it is, but I I need to find out. Okay, we will do that for you. Hold on one second. We're going to call him, okay? Okay, thank you. This is Tommy. This is Tommy. Uh, yes, it is. Hi, Tommy. My name is Mike. I'm with here in uh, Winston Salem. How are you today? I'm all right. What are y'all calling me for? Somebody registered you for a chance to win a dozen red roses, and you're one of the winners. No, no, I'm not interested in anything like that. Well, it's 100% free. There's no cost to it. We can send you a dozen red roses at no cost. I mean, is this for real? What, what's going on? Yeah, it was one of these register to win things, and um, we have your info here. Um, oh. And so, I, I, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, we've... we'll make sure you get a nice floral arrangement. Now, uh, what we can do is a little added gift on top is we can send it to anyone in the United States and also put a note on it. Is there anybody you would like us to send this dozen red roses to? Well, I don't even know who registered for it or anything like that. Does that matter? Uh, no, it doesn't matter to us. We, um, you were randomly selected, and we just call the numbers we're given. So yeah, I mean, I let's see. Uh, I mean, I, what I'd like to do is send it to uh, to somebody. Um, her name's Jill. Jill. Okay, and and who is she? But she works with me. She's, uh, a, she's co-worker. a coworker of mine. Mm-hmm. Oh my well, God, uh, Tommy! What? Tommy? Samantha? Yeah, Tommy, it's your wife on the phone. Your yeah. wife, Samantha, not Jill. Hi, I'm well, listening I, to your conversation. I, I hear that. What's going on here? And what? I cannot believe I cannot believe what I'm hearing. You want to send you, roses to some woman named Jill, who's a coworker? It, it's not some Samantha. What the hell? What is wrong with you? What have I ever what, done to deserve this kind of behavior? I don't understand. You don't do even understand. understand. You, you don't just shut the hell up because you don't know what's going on. Oh You're talking God. nonsense. I told you last time. There's nothing like that happening. Why are you sending flowers to her? You yeah, know, you, you have know. an answer for that? You don't have anything to say for that, do you? Because you know, you're you having an affair with her. You don't have Why any idea what's going on. you be sending her flowers? You made a fool of yourself today. You you just made a what? real fool of yourself. I am not the one making a fool of myself. You have made a fool of my entire life, actually, today. You, you don't even know what's going on. Yeah? Well, well, you certainly don't have anything to tell me about you what's going on. You're getting people to call me? This is, I don't even know who these oh, people are. Shit. What, I what? cannot believe you would do this to me. I trying to send me some roses or something? Why don't you just talk to me about this? I told you there's nothing. Oh, my God, but there can't be nothing. Who is, I mean, who is she? You have nothing to say for who she is. And I, I do, but I'd rather know, talk to you know, about this personally, frankly. I don't even understand what's going on here. I mean, we have built so many years together. We had such a good thing and happening. I, and I now you just go and ruin it. I spend more years with you to stop this ridiculous bullshit. It's okay, ridiculous. then, do you have a real good reason for who Jill is? Good, I do. really good I, answer for, for why you're sending her flowers that's not an affair? Look, I don't even know what's going on. I, you, I don't know I who these people are. Can we talk about this a different time? I am at work right now. 
Yeah, probably Jill is sitting right next to you, right? She's cuddling with you right now. Actually, she's right across the room, as a matter of fact, oh, and I can't talk like Lord. this right now. Let's jump in here. Hello. Tommy, this is Jared and Katie from Jared and Katie in the Morning on 107.5 KZL. Who the hell are y'all? Well, you yes, don't know. I mean, clearly, he's not an AML. M- must not be. Clearly. Your wife sent us an email because she's worried about your recent behavior and she thinks that you're cheating and she wanted us to call and find out and every time you get ready to say an answer I I know Samantha's upset but she interrupts you so I want to give you a chance to answer the question who Jill is and why you've been staying up late and leaving early and all this different stuff are you cheating I I don't appreciate being set up like this by ass like y'all I don't know what y'all are up to this is none of y'all's business first of all second of all none of y'all even my wife seems to understand there's more to this story than I was telling well, well, why don't you clear it up? Why don't you just set the record straight? <laughs> what the hell should I talk to you about that for? Well, you have to talk to somebody, right? You certainly y'all, weren't going to just tell me. <laughs> y'all, y'all are ridiculous. This is ridiculous. See, he has no answer. He has no reason. He has no good reason for this. Or Samantha, else he would I have it. a... He would not be ashamed of defending himself answer. right now. Okay. You disgust me. I cannot believe I've married you. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe you I bore my I can't believe my, you are so children. suspicious when what happened is actually something that could turn out to be good for you if you just shut the hell up. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, but you're not saying what it is, so I don't believe you. You're full of <laughs> like you always have been. You've All always right. been full of <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I don't even know I got what the truth is to lie about Jill. our marriage anymore. You, Jill is my coworker, and I was going to give the roses to her to thank her uh-huh. for something incredible she did for me. Oh, yeah, I bet it was incredible. Well, it really was, and it might have been incredible for you, too, if you hadn't acted like a jackass today. Uh, Well, that's not surprising. Well, what is it? What? Can you just share it, (laughs) I know you don't want to talk to us, but what is it? No, I'd be happy to. You know what? About a month ago, Jill said, hey, look, here's this opportunity, a different position. And if we go back and make a good record of all you've done, you could apply for this position. And you know what? I got that position, and it's going to also include a promotion and a raise. And we're going to be making uh-huh. $10,000 more a year starting next month. And Jill helped me do that. And I was going to tell you all about it when we got the whole paperwork settled. But it's a done deal. I just don't even know if I believe you. I mean, I don't care if you believe you be me or not. I'm going to be making a lot more money. So go do whatever the hell you want with your suspicious ass. Okay? And all y'all can go f*** yourself. I'm sick of this shit. Whoa. Hey. Uh, okay. Language. Well. It's typical. Do we at least still have Samantha on the phone? Samantha, you there? Hello? Samantha. Hi. So do you believe him? I mean, could that be the fact that he got a raise and he was trying to surprise you? That I mean... Could be, right? That just doesn't seem like him. It does not seem like him. I mean, mm-hmm. first... I mean, it, uh, hey, if he all of a sudden wants to work really hard and earn more money for his family, that would be a real novelty. That is not the way that he has behaved in the past, and I would be... Very surprised that that's actually what was going on here. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, we'll, uh, we'll let you go so you guys can talk about it. And um, if you can follow up with us and let us know if you want to, that'd be great. All right. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. I appreciate your help today. If you would like Jared and Katie to do one of their War of the Roses calls for you, simply email katie at 1075kzl.com.